let's compress this vocal. So I've got another part of the region soloed. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see. Usually you wanna choose the most dynamic section of your song and that typically um, is the chorus because you're singing louder or the vocalist is singing louder. So there's more variation between loud and soft. And you can actually see the peaks and the valleys in these files. If I went a little bit earlier, you can see there's more evenness in the tone. So I have set the cycle region on this chorus section. And then the next thing we need to do is engage the compressor. So similar to how we inserted the EQ, you can go here, navigate to dynamics, here's the compressor, or there's a little strip above the EQ here, and if you click on it, the compressor immediately pops up. I'm gonna pull over here. And so I'm not gonna adjust the settings for now, and you can see. Don't tell me it's not that easy. This is actually an indication of gain reduction. So you can see the compressor in action working as we go. So the first step here is to set the threshold. And you wanna be compressing somewhere between five and 10 dB. Um, that's usually a tasteful setting for a vocal. So uh, as this is playing, I'm going to lower the threshold until I get that amount of compression. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. Don't tell me that you can't see. It's all an illusion. Okay, so you can see this meter here. This is um, indicating negative 10 dB. You can also switch over to the graph, which a lot of people like to see this visually happening in real time. Don't tell me it's not that easy. And gain reduction is represented here on the right-hand side, and you can actually see this compressor working in real time. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. Okay, so I've got the threshold set basically where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna set the ratio to be four to one, five to one, somewhere around here is, is usually pretty good. I'm also gonna turn auto gain off. A lot of times it's easier to just have it set so that it's automatically making up for the gain reduction. Um, but I tend to wanna set this myself and I think it's a really good thing to do. So, now that I've turned it off, it's not gonna make up for that gain and it's gonna sound a lot softer. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. So I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting the threshold here because you can see it started jumping when, the, when we raised the ratio, we're getting almost 20 dB of gain reduction. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. All right, and then I can make up for the gain reduction. So I'm gonna raise this up. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. And realistically, you want the level to be kind of exactly the same as it was when the compressor wasn't on there because we're not using this tool to add volume. We're using this tool to even out the dynamic range. So as I turn this on and off, we'll be able to hear what's happening to the overall level. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. Don't tell me that you can't see. So this is a good setting. Um, it's not changing the volume very much at all, but it is evening things out. So as I turn this off, I want you to hear it's those really Da, 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 da. really loud and they're just punching and cutting through. And then as I turn it on, you'll see they're kind of smoothed out. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. Don't tell me that it, don't tell me it's not that easy. Too much of a sacrifice. Don't tell me that you can't see. 
So the more you use compressors, the more you adjust these parameters, the easier it is to actually hear what's happening. Uh, the other thing that is a good idea to do is to flip through some of these different uh, types of compressors. There are three main types of compressors. There's VCA, a FET, and then an optical compressor. So these are just emulations of other hardware pieces and they have different sounds. They, they add color, they add dimension. So I'm gonna, as I'm playing this, I'm gonna flip through the uh, different settings. Don't tell me it's not that easy Too much of a sacrifice Don't tell me that you can't see It's all an illusion Don't tell me it's not that easy Too much of a sacrifice Don't tell me that so just use your ears, use your better judgment. If something is, one of these is sounding better to you, then go with that. Um, and, and really, it's just this process of setting the threshold, the ratio, and the makeup gain. Uh, this is the best place to start when you're learning how to use a compressor.